YouTube team keep it clean listen, listen to this listen to this it's engraving here with another video and in this video I'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game that we watched the first preseason game between the Ravens and the Titans I feel real good to say that I feel really really good to say that haven't said that in a long time I haven't said that ever since the Steelers week 18 game so anyway it, it was nice man I um I appreciate everybody that came out to the stream last night thank you 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 for real um, thank you for spending that three and a half hours with us watching the game. Uh, I had a lot of fun. And what was crazy was that leading up to the preseason game, I knew it was a preseason game. Um, and I was like, all right, cool. First preseason game. Yeah, we're going to live stream. All right, cool. Yeah, that's fine. But it didn't really hit me yet. The excitement didn't hit me yet until we went live. Right when we went live, it was like, oh, we back. We like, we back for real. Uh, football is back so it was just it was super exciting a lot of fun so thank you to everybody that came through and went through the technical difficulties because my camera this camera that we're using right now uh it the, it said the battery got exhausted it just shut off on me but y'all still stayed with the stream while we end up hooking up a webcam but anyway thank you all i appreciate y'all like so much for real man y'all don't even know um now get into this game like the the, the ravens won 21 preseason games in a row that's cool. That's impressive. But honestly, I, I wasn't even like that. It was, I was whatever about that. I was just very happy to see some people shining last night. Uh, but first, let's talk about the quarterbacks. Tyler Huntley. Um, I think he only missed like, what, two passes? Something like that. Um, even though <laughs> most of his passes only went for like two yards. Uh, but no, nah, Tyler Huntley, he, he was doing his thing. Um, same Tyler Huntley. He, he was sharp. The only... Only little issue I saw was just um, there was a deep pass to Benjamin Victor. And, hey, it's it's not a big deal. Reason being because it wasn't like he was throwing a bunch of deep passes. So I, you can't really – and it's preseason. It's the first live-action game. So you can't really judge him like based off of one deep throw that he threw because I think it was the only deep throw that he threw to Benjamin Victor where it just it, he just sailed it a little bit too much, a little bit too much. Um – but that was, that was it. I mean, it's preseason. I'm not going to sit up here and, and be like, oh, well, you should have been doing this and that and blah, 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 blah. It's the first preseason game. The expectations should not be super high uh, for the first preseason game, the first time they're going against somebody. Uh, but anyway, so Tyler Huntley did his thing. My favorite play from Tyler Huntley, well, two of my favorite plays. One of them was obviously the touchdown to somebody that we're going to talk about in a little minute. But my other favorite play from Tyler Huntley, um, it was, I think it was third and long, maybe like third and 12, something like that. And Raven saw a lot of third and 12s. But anyway, um, it was third and long, and he snapped the ball. Right when he snapped the ball, he had pressure in his face. <laughs> I was like, oh, if you're a Ravens quarterback, you got to be used to that. You got to be used to pressure in your face immediately. Hopefully not this year, but after last year, yeah, and then the year before that. Too. Anyway. Um, Tyler Huntley, he, he snapped the ball, pressure was in his face right away, made a super quick decision, threw it to Isaiah Likely, who we're going to talk about in a little bit too, threw it to Isaiah Likely, Isaiah Likely caught it, and it, it just, it was the quick decision making that I, I just really appreciated uh, from Tyler Huntley on that play. Um, so he did his thing, he looked comfortable, um, he was giving different guys a chance, and hey, good job Tyler Huntley. Um, Anthony Brown, undrafted rookie from Oregon. Uh, he looked good too. He looked, he came in there, looked comfortable and whatnot. So hold up now. Hold up. This, this brother might be on to something now. Um, so yeah, he came in there. He looked fine too. Uh, and by, I, I know it's just the first preseason game, so we can't look too into it. But by the way that the order that they played in, I wonder if Anthony Brown is above on a depth chart over Hundley. Not Huntley, but Hundley. So, something to keep an eye on. Uh, if it was based off of last night, just strictly last night, then, I mean, obviously, Lamar Jackson, QB1. Tyler Huntley, QB2. And like Literally, he's QB2. And hopefully, Lamar can end up being QB number one. If, if you know, you know. Um, hopefully, he changed that jersey number to number one. Um, but with uh, based off of last night, I will say that the practice squad quarterback would be uh, Anthony Brown. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We've still got two games left, and he's for sure going to get a good amount of playing time in those games. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. 
Um, and then yeah, Hun- Hunley came out later on, uh, and he man, it was a play where he he got like walloped. He got sacked, fumbled, um, and I, I saw. I, I, at first, I was like, I said, "Oh, he fumbled." Well. I guess that's that. It was nice knowing you, cause you know how Hobbs feels, boy, about them fumbles, boy. <laughs> yeah, y'all know. Um, but then I then they showed the replay, and I I saw the offensive lineman that got beat, and it was Tyree Phillips. And I was thinking like, oh man, uh, but I I didn't I wasn't sure if they uh he was at guard or he was at left tackle, cause I just saw the part of the replay where he just he just got beat. I just saw him like trying to push the defensive lineman out of the way, but <laughs> it ain't work. Um, so it's okay though. It's okay. He got time. He got time. He got time. But so that was the quarterbacks. Uh running backs. Justice Hill, who that was somebody that I was very excited to see last night. He did his thing. Broke off some some nice runs. Uh and Justice Hill with him, he got this like crazy like he got this underrated like strength power to him. Um, cause he's so small, but he's so quick, but he'll like bounce off of somebody, breaking the tackle and catch his balance real quick and take off. So I was happy to see Justice Hill doing good. Tyler Beatty, um, he, he looked good too. Uh, they had him at kick return as well. And th- this is exactly what I was talking about when they drafted him. And I talked about this in several videos too. I said I, I, wanted, I would like to see him as a kick returner um, and as a running back too, obviously. But um, he, he looked comfortable uh, in both roles. And then something to think about too. This was not, I mean, <laughs> who knows because injuries are injuries. But this is not even Ravens starting offensive line. They had, they had some quality guys out there now, but this is not even <clears throat> the starting offensive line. So that was uh, that's something to think about. And the running backs, they look at Mike Davis. He got a nice, nice little touchdown. He looked comfortable. And, I mean, he's a veteran, so he should look comfortable. But he fit right in, and he's going to be holding it down for a long term until Gus Edwards gets back. And then even when Gus Edwards gets back, because it's, it's going to be a process. So Mike Davis, hey, we're we looking forward to you, my friend. Um, then Corey Clement, he got in there too. Oh man, one play by Corey Clement. I, I just felt so bad for Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown had pressure in his face. He made somebody move. He made he made somebody. I mean, he made somebody miss, not made somebody move. Well, yeah, I guess he technically did make them move, but he made them miss in the process. Um, and he had to do all this crazy stuff. It was one of them little, little Lamar plays. You know them Lamar plays where Lamar make like fifty people miss, and then he got to throw this crazy throw. Uh, and then the receiver drops it. I was like, oh. But that's what happened with Anthony Brown. He made all these people miss. Then he threw the ball, and Corey Clement dropped it. I was like, oh, I feel so bad for uh, Anthony Brown. But, again, it's preseason. Get all the drops out now. Get all that get all that stuff out now. It's okay. It's preseason. Um, so that was the running backs. Now, will we start tight ends? or see? We'll start with the tight ends first. And likely, that, that boy likely, man. Hey, shout out to him because – Something that we talked about on here, and we've talked to other people about it too. Every year with the Ravens, and I'm sure with every team really, but we focus on the Ravens. But every year with the Ravens, there's a player. Oh, man, they're killing it in training camp. They're doing this, that, and a third in training camp. Oh, man, they're going off in training camp. We hear that every single year. And kudos to those players. But a lot of times it's like, all right, when it's, when it's game time, hey, that player that was killing it in training camp. Then we look around like, oh, what happened? Where, where, where'd they go? Where, where'd all that hype, what would that lead to? But Isaiah Likely, I love that Isaiah Likely, he continued doing what he's been doing and making plays. He was catching the ball when he was open. He was catching the ball on top of people's head. That boy, I said, hold up, is that is that Lamar Jackson that tight end on that first catch? When he, I said, who, who, who Likely? I said, oh my goodness. I loved it, man. I loved it. That boy got some moves, man. I said, hold up now. Likely you like that? I was like, oh, man, come on, man. Let's get it, man. I loved it. Loved it. So the, seeing him continue doing what he's been doing in training camp, seeing that translate to the first preseason game, and he was involved a lot. A lot. I loved it so much. So much. I was so happy to see that. Um, <clears throat> What other tight ends were... Oh, but he he did have them he did have them uh, two holding calls. But at the same time, I was telling my guy JT, I'm like, man, it, it, look, likely had the two holding calls. That's cool. But likely trying to tell the Ravens, I'm not out here to block. I'm out here to catch passes. Y'all get a blocking to somebody. Give it to Nick Boyle. Give it to Pat Ricard. Give it to your offensive line. Don't give it to me. I'm not here to block. 
So I wasn't mad with the holding call. And then the second one was actually really bad. The second one, he actually looked like an offensive lineman because he, he threw that defensive lineman into the ground. I was like, okay, okay, likely. Is that guy likely to get back up? Oh, yeah, I had to throw the little dad joke in there. All right, no more likely jokes for the rest of the season. Anyway, um, what other tight ends did anything? I think Josh Oliver might have had a catch, but, <clears throat> yeah, that was that. So, wide receivers. Oh, man. Tylen Wallace, I feel bad for him. Um, I'm recording this video right now at uh, 9.59 a.m. Um, it's gonna, I mean, we're going to be here for a while because we still got a lot to talk about. And then it's going to take a real long time to upload. So, by the time you see this video, um, maybe news on Tylen Wallace will come out uh, as far as the severity of his injury. Um, I'm not expecting anything good. I'm um I'm bracing for bad news because it's just simply it's just simply how it goes, man. Uh, I hope that we can get good news on him, but I'm not expecting it to be good news. Uh, Ty Tylen Wallace, that's the thing, and it sucks, man, because you hate this for people. I would love if um <clears throat> somebody's career got derailed, got held back. Due to them being a poor player, due, due, due to them being a bad player, due to them just it not working out. But you hate to see it 50 million times more when stuff gets derailed because of injury. You hate it. You hate it. Um, but again, so ho hopefully it's nothing long term, but I'm, I'm, I'm bracing for the worst. So we'll see what happens with him. He did have, I think, two catches. I think he had two or three catches last night. Um, now... Oh, hold up. What is this? Is this? Oh. Uh, what is ah, okay. All right, sorry. I, I was just looking at Shamar Bridges' roster spot because it's a lock. Shamar Bridges, who I felt so bad last night. But then I realized, I'm like, man, I like, I've been, I'm, I'm, I've been rooting for this guy. Every time somebody asks me who you think is going to be the fifth receiver, who you think is going to be, I keep saying Shamar Bridges. But... Last night made me really realize I was like, hold up now. One of my guys, uh, I think his his name was Last Something on the stream. Um, he was like Duval. And I said, Hold up now. I know du Duval, that Duval County, that's that's Jacksonville. And I said, wait a minute now. So I I, I looked up where Shamar Bridges was from. Not the HBCU, but where he where he's actually from. And it said Jacksonville, Florida. I said we got a Florida Raven. I should have known by how his dreads are, but still, man. Shamar Bridges. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. Who that boy showed out last night. Shout out to Tyler Huntley because um, that little fade right in. Oh, that was a be beautiful, beautiful throw. Shamar Bridges, beautiful concentration on the catch. That, and that's what I talked about with him. He's smooth with it, man. Shamar Bridges is smooth with it, man. Big six four six five outside receiver. Hey, can he be the one? Can he be what we've been looking? Well, what I've been looking for. Can he? Can he be it? Hey, we'll see with time and opportunity. But last night was an amazing start for Shamar Bridges. It was an amazing start. Loved it. He called the deep balls. He called the short passes. He got called the touchdown. I love what I saw from him. So shout out to Shamar. Keep on stacking. It's a beautiful thing to see. Makai Polk, he looked good too. And I love, like, his, his little signature move is a, it's, it's a little spin move because that's why he tried to catch a couple people with it. Um, but I love how, especially on his first catch, uh, I think it was Tyler Huntley throwing to him, I forgot. But his first catch, threw the ball, and he didn't just wait for the ball to come to him. No, he went out, reached out, and took it out the air. And I love that. And that's so important too. Because if, if you making a play on the ball uh, as a wide receiver, then you give the, the defender less chance to make a play on the ball. If you, if, if you sit, sit there and wait for it, wait for it to come to you, then the defender got a better chance to get their hand in there, pop, knock it out. But if you actually go out and take it, I, I loved it. I loved it. Um, and he, 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 he was getting involved a lot too. So he, um, he made a name for himself at wide receiver. Based off of last night, and it's, it's just the first game, so we got to see consistency, obviously. Um, but depending on what happens with Tylen Wallace, both uh, Shamar Bridges and Makai Polk will make the roster. Based off of last night. Based off of last night. 
So, Devin Williams, I think he had one catch, but then he had that fumble at the end. But then they said he was down. But, you know, Harbaugh going to remember, remember that. He's going to be like, oh, you, you dropped my ball? Oh, okay. All right. He probably wrote it down. He probably put his glasses on and wrote it down. Like, oh, okay. We got to. Yeah, okay. So, we'll see. But, yeah, I think that was the only catch that he had. Um, number 11, Webb. Oh, that was a beautiful deep ball. Um, be beautiful pass. I think it was Anthony Brown that threw it. But beautiful pass and even better catch. To, to be concentrating like that, having a defender draped all over you and still come in with the football. And you got hit. It So beautiful, man. It, it, was, it was so nice to see all that stuff last night. Oh! Speaking of wide receivers, they said James Prochet going to be out the next couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, boy. It's, it's like, man. What? <sighs> but, again, this, this goes back to what I was saying. I, I kept saying it, too. First, because I wanted legitimate weapons for Lamar Jackson. And even more weapons for Lamar Jackson. But, on top of that, <clears throat> one of the reasons I kept saying that the Ravens should add a receiver is, hey, what if somebody gets hurt? What if somebody gets hurt? And now we're looking at two of the Ravens' top four receivers hurt. Uh, hopefully it won't be anything serious, but <clears throat> we just got to wait and see. Um, offensive line. Honestly, I, I really wasn't like glued to the offensive line like that. Um, so I, I, I couldn't tell you about anybody specifically, whether they did good, did bad, anything like that. <clears throat> um, now, defense. Let me make sure we covered everybody on offense. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty much everybody. Um, defense. Travis Jones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful start. Beautiful way to get everything started to your career. Um, we saw consistent pressure from him. He even got to sack him and Dalen Hayes together. Shout out to Dalen Hayes. Dalen Hayes was getting some pressure off and on last night. Uh, so that was good to see. That was real good to see because we've been hearing some rough stuff about him in training camp. But it was, it was nice to see that. Um, who else? Uh, oh, Michael Pierce. Michael Pierce was out there early on. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, I ain't mad at it. But he And he like he was back there. He was back around the quarterback. Um, and I was like, all right, Michael Pierce, you still got it, huh? Okay. Um, Steven Means, who definitely started off slow. Uh, early on in the game, um, but he he showed up, man. He balled out. Uh, he he started. He, he missed the play. I forgot what the play was that he missed early on. Um, but <clears throat> after that, it was smooth sailing. It was smooth sailing. He got the sack. He kept getting pressure. He was doing this thing. I was like, all right, Stephen Means. Like we gotta we gotta we gotta change this little ug ugly number sixty. But besides that, hey, you doing your thing. Somebody else who it actually went in reverse for was Malik Harrison. Malik Harrison, he started off strong. He started off killing it. He was doing his thing. He's like, all right, Leak, let's get it. But then um, toward the end of his play, playing time, um, there was a, a, a tackle that he missed. And it went from, like, being a 10-yard gain to being, like, a, a 17 or 18, maybe even 20-yard gain because of that missed tackle. But it's all good. It's preseason. But preseason where you want to just work on these things, you want to see where you're at, uh, and you just want to try to fix stuff. Because it's better now than later, right? Um, <clears throat> Pepe. Pepe, oh man, he had a pick six and he dropped it. But it's okay, that's why he plays defense. Uh, but he, they, they had him, somebody in the, in the stream last night was like, oh, this is going to be the, the 2022 version of Brandon Stevens. The way the Ravens just have him doing so much different stuff. And that's what it was last night. They had him... At corner, they had him at safety. They had him at punt return, and at punt return, he looked good. He looked good, and he looked comfortable back there. Not everybody can go back there and be comfortable. Not everybody can. I remember they put James Prochet back there, and James Prochet, he would catch the ball because I mean that's the biggest thing you want. You know, you don't want the the ball, you don't want the fumble or anything like that. But James Prochet catch the ball, but he just didn't have that explosiveness back then um, as a punt returner. So you you knew you were safe. With James Prochet, but you knew you were not going to get no punt return, big break for on a punt return with Prochet. Devin Duvernay, um, he'll catch it. I mean, he dropped one before, but I think he, he, picked, he picked it up, though. He ain't lose the fumble. He did fumble it, but he, I mean, he muffed it, but he ain't lose it. But anyway, um, Devin Duvernay, again, that straight line speed, but uh, he ain't really got no wiggle like that. He got that straight line speed, though. So, like, remember Chris Moore? 
Y'all remember Chris Moore? Chris Moore, straight line speed with no wiggle. Um, but <clears throat> Pepe, he was smooth, man. He was he was smooth back there. I was like, okay, hold up now. So it, it was it was nice to see that, man. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Kevon Seymour. Um, he struggled. He struggled. Uh, and that that has been a consistent throughout training camp. Man. He's 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 been struggling a lot, man. Um, so hopefully uh, they can work with him, fine tune some things, tighten some stuff up, and hopefully that can improve. Uh, Daryl Worley. Worley just got signed a couple days ago and ended up getting a pick in his first game. He said, hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm like, really back? I was like, okay, Worley, we see you. Uh, and then uh, like a couple of drives later, he ended up giving up a big, big catch. And that's like life in the NFL. Life in the NFL as a cornerback. It's tough. It is maybe one of the, the toughest jobs to do, toughest positions to play. Because even it's like even if you do your job, sometimes you can't even do your job. Because all the rules, they benefit the offense and receivers and whatnot. And I think Ravens should take advantage of that. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough life as, as a cornerback. Uh, 46. Um, oh, his, his name is not coming to me right now. But he was solid. He looked like a, uh, a defensive lineman playing linebacker. Um, but he was making some plays. He's actually the one that tipped the ball up. Uh, for Geno Stone to make the pick. And Geno Stone was balling last night. Geno Stone was flying around everywhere. Tackles in the backfield. Almost had a, 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 a that, it probably would have been a pick six. Because he, he jumped he jumped the route, but he was just a little too short. He just missed it. And the tight end for the uh, Titans caught it. Got a couple yards. But Geno Stone was right there. So, ooh. so you, you see it. Them instincts, man. That's what it's about. Geno Stone is crazy with him because he's like a, a right place, right time player. It's so weird. Like the ball just, he, he has a way of being at the right place at the right time to get these in. He was doing the same thing last year in the preseason. Right place, right time. So uh, shout out to him, man. Um, he, he looked good. Tony Jefferson was out there for a little bit off and on. Um, he made a real nice tackle in the backfield. And then there was another play. I'm not sure if it was Kevon Seymour fault or Tony Jefferson fault because initially Kevon Seymour he oh, yeah they're probably playing zones so maybe it's a little bit of both but Kevon Seymour was on the receiver and then Kevon Seymour sort of dropped off and Tony Jefferson picked him up and, and the receiver ended up just being wide open um, but <clears throat> I, I don't know what the what happened there but hey, it's preseason it's preseason so it's okay the rookie Kyle Hamilton he looked the part. He did miss a tackle that ended up leading to a touchdown, but that was uh, that was Malik Willis. So I ain't too mad at that. Um, that dude, Malik Willis, he he was doing his thing last night. I I love seeing it, man. I loved it. Again, put that put that pressure on Tannehill, man. Make them Titans fans upset, man. Put that pressure on Tannehill. Anyway, um, Kyle Hamilton, the pursuit is there. That that close down speed is there. I loved it. This dude, is so, he is so tall. I didn't realize he was that tall. But that dude looked like, he looked like Terminator or something, chasing people down. Um, but I, I loved it, man. And then, of course, he recovered the fumble, too. Um, so, hey, that awareness, the smarts, they're kicking in. And that's what it's about, man. That's what it's about. So you combine smarts with ability, and, and you can make a certified baller. So ho hopefully Ravens, they, they get the most of it. And, I mean, it's, it's Ravens. It's Ravens, he's a first-round pick and a defensive player, so they definitely going to uh, maximize that talent, for sure, for sure. Um, so it's, it, it was exciting seeing him last night, seeing him out there, seeing him play, um, and just seeing him do his thing. It's his first game. It's his first game. Um, so I, I like what I saw from him. I know I heard some people that didn't, and hey, that's, that's okay. We all got our own opinions. But I like what I saw from Kyle Hamilton. It was a nice start. Um, Am I missing? I, well, I know I'm probably missing plenty of people, but I'm trying to think of any anybody else that stood out. Uh, can't think of anybody off the top of my head. Um, so, and I mean, there's a lot of space up there. So for me not to think of anybody off the top of my head, then I must be really blanked out. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Uh, it's nice, nice to be back. Really, really nice to be back. I loved it. Had so much fun last night. Um, can't wait for the next one. But until then, uh, I'll see y'all later. Let me do one last check right now to see if I, I missed anything as far as any injury updates. 
Uh, I don't think so, and it is official. No, we didn't. Okay, so we just got to wait and see. We just got to wait and see uh, the update on Tylen Wallace. Um, with Prochet, we won't get any updates on him until he's back. Because they already said, he said two, one or two weeks or two to three weeks. I think they said two to three weeks. Whatever he said, we'll, we just got to wait till he's back. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And just like a couple of our receivers are right now, I'm out.